Principal, Mr. Matthew Smith, to the administrative staff, the parents, and our awards recipients. And of course, fellow residents and friends of the community. This evening, I greet you on behalf of fellow members of the Woodlands High School Scholarship Fund uh, as we celebrate our 62nd annual award ceremony. Uh, our award ceremony marks a continuing tradition uh, within our community. And this tradition uh, was begun uh, with the establishment of the scholarship fund in 1961. Now the founding members of the fund, with Mr. Charles Snyder as the first president, uh, they recognized he, along with other members of the fund and members of the community, recognized the importance of, his, of an education. And they took uh, the initiative to provide uh, the necessary resources, the financial assistance for graduating students here at Brooklyn's High School, uh, those who aspire to a higher education. Now, the members in the class of 1964 were, its, uh, were the first recipients of their efforts, of those awards. And there were, at that time, there were seven students, uh, and they received awards that totaled $3,000. Uh, since that time, you know, the scholarship fund has continued to work such that at this, uh, this year, we are able to award 17 students um, with a, a, a total amount of money this year of $35,000. So that brings, over the years, over the, over the 62 year period, that brings the total amount of money that we've uh, dispersed in awards to one million. $638,000. Now, the awards that we will be giving tonight are based on three criteria. And one, of course, each of the award recipients have to be a graduate of Woodlands High School, and that's an automatic. Secondly, they have to uh, show a financial need, which is certified with an evaluator, a financial, uh, an independent evaluator outside of this community. Okay. And we use the data that they help, that they prepare to, uh, to help us to decide how we allocate the $35,000. Okay. And secondly, uh, needless to say, all of our award recipients will be attending college. So those are the three criteria. Attending college, graduate of Brooklyn's High School, and show a certified financial need. So it's been a, a pleasure and a joy uh, meeting with the recipients. A few months ago, along with the counselors here at, uh, in the guidance department, uh, we met with the award recipients, and we sat and we interviewed, and we got to know each other, OK? Um, they shared with us their plans for the future and how their experiences here at Woodlands helped them to prepare for their future educational pursuits. Now, in the process, as I just said, we, we, we uh, learned to get, they, they learned to find out who we were and we had a chance to become acquainted with them as well. The awards that we chose that we are given, we, we chose them based on uh, the qualities that they, uh, which best represent them. We did this to the best extent possible you know, because we have a total of 38 awards and there are 17 students. So in that, in that case, you'll see, you'll recognize, you'll see tonight that some of them will be getting at least two awards. And you know, it was, we really have to look closely as to how we would uh, associate those particular named awards with the students. But that, that is the general idea, is to try to match the students based on what they told us about themselves 
with the inane awards. Okay. So the, as I just said, there are 17 awards. They are honorary endowment awards. And these are either in tribute or memory to someone within the community, uh, or perhaps a tribute to someone in local businesses or a service organization who made a generous donation to the scholarship fund. Okay. Now, as the awards are presented, you will find a complete description in the back of the, your program. There's a, you'll see a section in the back uh, with all of the bios for the students. And so, when, they, when the student comes up, take a look at, we'll give you their names, you can take a look at their names in the back of the book to get a sense of who they are. Okay, so at this time, we'll begin the presentation. Okay. I'll do the first three awards, and Ms. Rita Jones will follow with the next awards. The first award is the Elaine Beth uh, Memorial Award. And you see the, the, the description. Uh, each year it's given to, uh, I won't read all of that, but you see, you see the, the description of the Memorial Award for the Elaine Beth across the world. The recipient this year is Christina Zamora. Good evening, everyone. 
everyone, and congratulations to all the students, and of course the parents who got them so far. And um, I'd like to echo what Mr. Dolan said. Some of you are getting more than one award because we have many getting awards, but that doesn't mean you'll get any more money. The same <laughs> check you'll be getting. You will not be getting because you're getting two or three awards. It'll be the same one check you'll be getting. Uh, I am happy to present the Lady Jackson Award. Lady Jackson was my friend, and she worked in the community. I think, can you raise your hand, some of the parents who may have known Lady Jackson? Yes. She was an advocate for all people. She was involved with the um, civil service, and she fought hard for those people. Um, when she was not fighting for people, she was um, fighting for the students. And I've known her in many cases where parents did not appear at the children's graduation and she kindergarten. She worked at the Lee of Jackson. Um, so she would take that child out for lunch and uh, stuff like that she did for children. So I am pleased today to give this award to Jennifer Musu. Am I pronouncing the name correctly? It's Wolfie. So I 
read um, the application for the recipient of this award, and I was blown away. <laughs> Between sports, scouts, work, school newspaper clubs serving on the board, Nicholas, when did you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> and he's valedictorian. I think my grandfather would be over the moon impressed. Mm -hmm. He was so impressed with hard workers, people who worked hard, and earned you know, all kinds of accolades. And, and I'm very proud that he started this scholarship fund. He was, um, he was very, you know, Concerned that students get a college education. He didn't have one. He was a successful businessman without a college education. But um, I think he would have done really well maybe going to law school. He would have been a great boy. So, Nicholas, you are attending my alma mater. <laughs> so, Hale Men of Fordham Hale programs. <laughs> Congratulations on this award. It's well deserved. Uh, be able to get good grades in, the, in your second and following year. 
All right. So again, congratulations. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Greg Warhol. I'm a member of the fund, and it just pleases me so much to be here tonight to be able to make these awards and to be a part of the Greenberg community and to really just show the, the students we support you. You have support in the Greenberg community, and we're here to show you that. This is our manifestation of that. The, the next award I'm giving. I'm handing out is the William and Meyer Memorial Award, and that will be handed to Genesis Robinson. <laughs> Virtually every one of the students that we interview has the same, has, has sparked almost the same response. When do they sleep? Their achievements are magnificent. They should be proud of themselves. We should be proud of them as a community. I see a couple of the educators here, you should be proud of the things that you've done for these students. Genesis uh, embraces culture. She's racially aware. She's part of the robotics team. She, and she, she's interested in coding. Congratulations, Genesis. Thank you. Thank you. The next award is the Dr. Harry Rausch Memorial Award. And that's being awarded to Kayla Roberts. Again, Kayla, tell us the secret. When do you guys sleep? The entire generation. When do you guys sleep? Can you tell us that collectively? <laughs> That's going to be your Regents question. <laughs> uh, Kayla has very has an entrepreneurial spirit. She's interested in um, digital arts. She does some dance. Um, she's sold flowers at different events. Wow, Kayla, thank you. And the next award goes to, the next award is the Robert H. Sternberg Award. Um, I think the accolades have been enough, or not enough, they're never enough, but certainly goes to Nicholas Valen this year. I'm not going to continue this story because everybody's talking about it. He's been
speak into the mic a little, please? Sorry. Um, Thomas will be attending uh, Alfred University. Okay. Um, Thomas will be attending had plenty of different activities for his um, year here at Woodlands High School. And very busy outside of um, Woodlands as well. He's a lifeguard, a karate instructor, um, just volunteer um, in his community as well. And he plans to study the physical therapy sports, sports medicine. The next award is the Tim Steinel Memorial Award, and this will be given to Jaden Washington. Once again, I'm going to ask uh, Genesis uh, Robinson to come and go. Well, I guess I won't repeat all that has been said, but one of the things that impressed me during your interview is that you indicated that you were interested in uh, computers and you wanted to apply uh, your knowledge of you wanted to study by the Oh, <laughs> 
Ma'am? You want to come up here on our Yeah, talk yeah, yeah. That, that, that. Be careful. She's a veteran. She's not. Veteran's golden. You're welcome. Veteran's golden. Mother. That's her sister. To my good friend, to my nephew here, all of the girls, six girls in my family, finished college. All of us became teachers, and two of us received our master's degree. My parents. My parents are did not finish college. And uh, neither high school, my, my father, got for department high school, but they made sure that we got what we wanted, and it was an education. We wanted it. We got it. So these boys and girls that are receiving these awards appreciate the people that gave them to you. Don't waste your money. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Genesis. All right. Eat the pack there, it's spelled in the I'm going to be reading about you as you develop methods of handling AI. Okay, so the next award, um, the next award is the Howard Grossman Award. The Howard Grossman Award in Florence Cruz will be the presenter. Good evening, everyone. I'm Florence Cruz, members of this community, and I'm very proud to be part of the Greenberg community. I've been here for about 20 years. I have uh, three daughters who graduated from here. I have one that's still here at uh, Woodlands High School. She's a freshman. My other three have graduated, and they are so proud to say that they've come from Woodlands High School. My first two have been pretty much all over the world. Everywhere they go, they seem to find someone from Woodlands. They just go, I found someone in Woodlands in Chicago. I found someone in California. I found, so be proud of where you came from and never, never forget us. Today I'm here to present the Howard Grossman Award to Artist Wilkins. Yes, she's not here, but she's a very strong student and she's part of the National Honor Society and a very strong athlete. She plans on going to Buffalo State University and will major in sports marketing. I will also be presenting the next award, which is the Maria Tasky Memorial Award, which, is, which goes to Emma Hoffman. to go to Pace University and she will be studying nursing. She likes to volunteer and help people. Very nice.
Excuse me. I went to school. I went to St. Augustine's College in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's now St. Augustine's University. And I was born in Massachusetts. So when I went south to school, it was quite an experience for me. Can you still hear me? Yeah. I'm not trying to be cool. It's just, it's just something's happening with my voice. <laughs> I usually talk clearly than this, so I'm not going to talk very long. But when I went south to school, and I found myself on a small campus, living in a male dormitory, we had men's dorm and the woman's dorm. Now, a co-ed dorm was somebody's dream, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know if I could have really maintained my concentration if I lived in a co-ed dormitory. Back then, now I'm a graduate class of 1965. Yes, back then, they had Each year that I present <laughs> the award to a well-known student, I look, I look at your faces. Even with a mask on, I, I still try to be proficient in leading a person's expression. Okay? So, you're going into another chapter of your life. Please be careful. Be aware of artificial intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. I mean, years ago, I didn't think that there was any such thing. Intelligence was real. And you're dealing with so many distractions. You know, your phone rings any time during the night or day, and you have to make a decision. Is it important enough for you to respond or not? You do have a choice. Try to exercise that choice wisely. And be careful of the things that Free. There's some good deals out here, but not too much is free. There's usually something attached. And it's going to cost your time, your energy, and your money. Now, there's somebody's phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Must be very important.
He wants to have a healthy and stable life for him which he loves. My best to you. Oh, immigration. Okay, very good. There's nothing. So, I thank you and thank you and congratulations. Our next award is the Stephen Bichansky Memorial Award, and awarded to Thomas Gabriel.
wants to be a physician's assistant and also get involved with music. I don't know how they work. <laughs> Maybe she'll sing for the patients. <laughs> but anyway, her description is in the in the book, so I'm not going to go much further than that. She's going to go to the University of Hartford, and we wish her all the best. The next award is the Sandy and Louis Sunderland Memorial Award. Um, Lou Sunderland was my predecessor as the treasurer of the fund. Uh, he worked hard for the fund uh, and worked even though he was ill, quite ill for several years, uh, and really devoted himself. He was a great guy. His wife, Sandy, was an interesting woman who got involved in Native American studies and uh, she was just so curious about uh, looking deeply into the involvement of Native Americans in this part of the country that it was almost like forensics. <laughs> Haley. St. Thomas Aquinas. Uh, she was uh, beautifully described previously by the previous speaker. So I'm not going to describe that. Uh, and we again wish her all the best. First, I must say thank you to the selection committee. I know you have worked tirelessly many nights and day to produce <laughs> what you have produced. That's remarkable. Also, I will certainly like to thank all you celebrities here and there. You have done tremendously well. If nobody else hit you in the shoulder, I hit you in the shoulder. You have done. Uh, here it is. I think the award is uh, John, Mc John McClain. Believe it. The Leave You Award. That should be John McClain, Robert Court, and my Ann Jackson Award. Because they were trailblazers for all of you here. Adults as well as new students awardees. 
these guys, first of all, I must say, when I was in school and I was in college, in our freshman year, the president spoke to us and he said, look to your right. And we all looked to our right. And then we looked to our left. And he concluded, one of them wouldn't be there in four years. <laughs> it's not a joke. It is fantastic to see what you guys have achieved. I've listened attentively and heard what you have achieved. The Knights of War, I should say that both Robert Court, Mr. McLean, and Matthew Jackson has given to Artis Williams. I don't know if you were born to be an artist, or you have influenced the artist career, one of the two, because what I've read of you is just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I don't know how you were able to do all those things. I only did one thing. You know, I couldn't do all the basketball stuff and all. However, I would like to say this much to you. And I'm going to be leaving this so that the entire Woodlands could read it. This is a play, or two plays, that were produced here by these two young men that sat in your chair, that came up off of the chair to your right, just as you did tonight. One of them is Robert Court, and Robert is an entrepreneur, and he is CEO of Court Event. He also now produced a director in one of the largest pharmaceutical companies. He had in that dining hall, Saturday Houston, you can do it. The other person is Matthew Jackson. And Matthew is a senior executive vice president and head of US production of executive media here in the United States of America. You could do it. I look forward to you to do it. Robert is looking forward to you. Matthew and Mr. McLean. In essence, they were trailblazers for you and all who achieved like you. So tonight, May I say that with much guts and enthusiasm, I present to you this. Thank you. Uh, I was told by Mrs. Jones to let you know where she's going, Ms. wife. She'll be going to Buffalo State University.
doing high honors, so I have no doubt about your scholastic uh, ability. But what I do want you to know is that Sandra too is a high achiever. She was a <coughs> she was Dr. Sandra Ross. Her focus was, of course, in psychology. And one of the things that she did for the benefit <coughs> of all of us is to do some research to find out why it was that African American students did so poorly in Greenberg in the 1960s, 70s, and what she did was to get a group of us who were always encouraged, you can have your kids go to Maine, but then after that, forget it. You need to send them to private school. And Sandra decided that, um, no, we, didn't, we needed to do it not only for our own kids, but for other kids. So we had nerve enough to, to name the group exactly what he did, Excellence for Black Children. And I was so thrilled to look tonight, you know how the word is passed. I want you guys to know that the, the school that you're going to now has come a long way. You have no idea. And um, Sandra and those of us whom she inspired uh, managed to make a difference. We held Saturday schools. We had the, our children who graduated who came back during the summer to help others. This all had to do with Sandra. I, had, I was a young mom here. I've lived here 50 years. Can you imagine? I grew up here too. And um, I'll always be so, so very grateful for Sandra. And I want to be quite sure that if, as long as I'm here, I pass the word. I need to know that things change and we can do better. The first scholarship he awarded was the young man who was the only African-American boy who did regions. Can you believe? No one else was even encouraged to do that. And I sit here and I'm just brimming. I just wish Sandra was here to see how far we've come. I see that you're going to pursue uh, dermatology, right? You're going to go to Fordham. And you're already in a helping profession. And I just wish you the best of luck. I'm sure you're going to do very well. Congratulations.
that he reached out to everyone. When I moved to Greenberg, he and Sandra Ross welcomed me into the community. So I have fond memories of her and her three daughters. Um, this award goes to Jennifer Woolsey.
Good evening, Greenberg. Good evening. Come on, we had a celebration, not a funeral. Yeah. Good evening, Greenberg. Good evening. All right, amen. Amen. Um, my name is Stephen Lewis. I am a current employee here. I am a ex, I mean a former student. I graduated <laughs> from Woodlands High School. I've been in Greenberg from baby. <laughs> From ECP, it wasn't ECP then, but from ECP <laughs> through um, high school. And I'm standing in uh, here on behalf of my brothers, and they're in a group called Atlantic Star. And um, the group Atlantic Star is so interesting. Right here in this cafeteria is where the group was formed. And it was uh, guys that just came together, and they were always in the band room, like, like the musicians now, every time I go in the auditorium, they're in the band room, and they're banging, banging away. And people are saying, it's so loud in there. And I'm saying, like, no. They're developing their craft. Because that's exactly what my brothers did um, here. And they were in the, ca in the cafeteria one day, and they kind of got together and formed this group. Now, the interesting thing is, the teachers saw that they had something special. And they nurtured it. And the community nurtured them and they were able to have a great level of success over the last, and here it says 40 years, but now it's 50 years. And um, the beautiful thing is, there's not a memorial at the end of that, that because they're all still alive. So uh, that's a beautiful thing. So, this award is going to be given, I mean, this scholarship is going to be given to Melissa Rosas. I quickly read over, um, this is really fitting because I quickly read over Melissa's bio and she's a, a, a student, athlete, plus she's a scholar. She's been on the um, on honor roll since 10th grade it says and she went to the, she attended the Westchester Conservatory of Music. So I think this award is fitting. Um, Melissa, I hope you do pursue music. I see you're going to pursue medicine and music. But I hope you never, never give up your music. Okay. So, what am I, what am I supposed to give her? Give her or something? Okay. Um, 
but I just wanted to also say that I see a lot of familiar faces out in this award ceremony of all the award recipients that were in my class way back in, at RJ Bailey. So I'm not surprised at how they got so much done because they were truly some of the hardest workers that were ever, that would ever come into your classroom. They were dedicated, they really focused, they were lovely human beings as well as good students. So I just want to applaud all of you. It's so good to see you again. It's so good to see you thriving and succeeding. And I just wish you the best. Um, my brother set up a wonderful award for our mother who taught for 39 years in this district. Um, I then followed her and have been working here for 32. Mm -hmm. So it's a family legacy, you could say. And one of the big things that she wanted for her students was to be their best and to do their best. So I just want to tell you all, dream big. You can do whatever it is that you want. We're here to support you in any way you need. Please feel free to reach back to us and talk to us and ask us for any kind of connection you might need. But it is amazing to see you guys thriving and just being the best you possible. So Maya, I am so excited to give you the award that's in honor of my mother. Proud to present 
do with this award, Jaden, and wish you luck at Pace University.
let me tell you, your mom had my son come to her home to do his wise. She figured he wasn't doing it fast enough. So I wanted to let you know that. That sounds like she brought him to her home many times. Now you would like to live there. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other part of this is, I, seriously, I'd like to thank the teachers. Because all of the students who came through being interviewed, when we asked them what they liked best about Woodland, they said the teachers. And so that's, uh, that's commendable. Um, Jones with his father. <laughs> okay. uh, um, 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 thank you, Dr. Iverson, for your support. You know, we've had a few projects that we uh, were trying to get, uh, that we were trying to accomplish uh, during this year, and you were a great support to us in helping to get those things done. So thank you. Students, you've heard many words of encouragement, but first of all, on behalf of the, uh, the board members of, our, of the scholarship fund, we want to congratulate each of you uh, for the scholarship awards that you've received this evening. Uh, you've worked hard, you've overcome challenges, and you've shown excellence in your academic and extracurricular pursuits. You've made your families, the schools, and the community proud. You've heard, many, you've, you've heard many messages of encouragement, but just repeating some of those things. You are the leaders of tomorrow, and you have a bright future ahead of you. As you continue your education, we encourage you to keep pursuing your passions, exploring your new horizons, and, make a positive, and making a positive difference in the world. We also urge you to remember the values that you have brought here today. Remember to have curiosity, integrity, resilience, and compassion. We encourage you to keep pursuing your passions, exploring your horizons, and make a positive difference in the world. Finally, we want to remind you that you're not alone on this journey. I think you have heard this message uh, for many of the presenters this, this evening. You're not alone on this journey, and you have the support of your mentors, your peers, and your loved ones. They're here to celebrate with you today, and they'll be there to celebrate with you tomorrow. Cherish them, appreciate them, and learn from them. And finally, once again, we congratulate each of you for receiving your scholarship awards. You've earned the recognition and you deserve this celebration. We, should, we wish all of you the best in your future endeavors. The scholarship fund wishes to thank you. And one shout out, um, uh, this past month, was it in May? We had a flea market, and a shout out to Ms. Victoria Scalato for your help and assistance with us in helping helping us to make that a, a, a fantastic, a, a, a success. Where is she? Okay. Jennifer? Yeah. Jennifer. 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 Okay. She was right there on board with us as well. We want to thank you. Okay. And anyone else who I may have overlooked, we thank you for all this, the support. Uh, we have we have refreshments in the back. Uh, so, as we conclude, okay, and just prior to uh, each of you, um, you the uh, scholarship fund recipients, if you just take a moment to gather over here to take a picture. You want them over there, Mr. Lewis? No, right in front. You guys come out front and sit. You know, let's 
All right, you want them over here. Okay, right out here where the W is. It's going to take a picture of you there. Okay, uh, the, the refreshments are in the back there. Thank you for coming. And thank you for your